The raw water supply for the Ruder Hess water treatment plant is, consists of several different sources, but one of the main sources is going to be a reclaimed wastewater effluent. There's hundreds of different chemicals in these water sources that we would prefer not be in the drinking water. So our goal here was to create a drinking water system that would reliably treat a water that's uh, not particularly good quality to start with and to treat it to actually to a world-class level. The first process is a typical coagulation, flocculation, and sedimentation process which cleans impurities from the water, removes some of the organic matter in the water, and is a common process used throughout the industry. The difference here is that we use micro sand to enhance the sedimentation, which results in a very small area that the treatment process requires. The first step removes the gross contaminants uh, and all the, all the things that can be uh, coagulated and settled. The second step is specifically to remove dissolved organic chemicals. Pretty early on in the, in the project, we began thinking about powdered activated carbon as a way to remove dissolved organics. The second process uses recirculated powdered activated carbon. Powdered activated carbon has been used in water treatment for many years, but it is generally just added at one place, passed through the system and removed. That's very inefficient and it's costly, but the uh, difference with this process is that it recirculates the powdered activated carbon to increase the efficiency of the organic removal even further than a conventional treatment process could. The final step in the treatment is ceramic membrane filtration. The ceramic membranes are very durable and they can withstand impacts from sand and powdered activated carbon, which is very abrasive. The ceramic membranes can be cleaned back to a new condition, whereas polymeric membranes, typically over a life of maybe six to 10 years, will deteriorate and need to be replaced. Those processes in combination will achieve all of the water quality goals that we need. I believe it'll be duplicated in the future when other people see how it performs. Mm -hmm.